Hello, ma'am. Smells good in here. Here's a bunch of nails. Yesterday, I meant to vlog more, but I didn't. Sarah and I went to the secret deodorant event, which was really cool. The event was at Sweat and & Tonic, and we got to do this hot yoga class, which was definitely super hot, but it was awesome. And now it's Wednesday, so starting the day off the way we always start the day. Got some coffee, got some editing, just the huge, nothing, nothing to see here. <laughs> but tonight, got a very fun event that I'm actually really looking forward to. We're gonna see the new Zendaya movie called Challengers. Warner Brothers invited me and I'm pretty stoked. And then there's some after party at this place called Spin, which is a ping pong place. I've actually never been there, but I think it should be really fun. Anyways, that's where we're starting the day. Welcome to the vlog. It's 1 p.m. Haven't been the most productive, but we're we're gonna be better now. I got some stuff at the event yesterday. Figured may as well give you a haul. So first of all, they gave us the yoga mats, which are really nice. Pretty color too. Also got these little towels that were at our spots. Very nice, like microfiber towel. I actually took a ton of the snacks home. They had like these granola bars. This is actually Sarah's bag, so there's only really one. I had I had gotten two. As well as these like chia pudding things that looked so good. So I hope Sarah is thoroughly enjoying them. We also got this water bottle and then of course their deodorant. So we got their aluminum free dry spray. It's like a lavender smell. It's really nice. And then also this clinically proven 72 hour one. I don't have that here. Very fun event, but I wanted to give you guys an update on the backyard because spring is like, it's here. We're in the spring. And I had said that we were gonna start working on it in the spring. Right before Arizona, my dad actually came over here to talk about the backyard and figure out our next steps. But I didn't end up editing that vlog before the trip. So I'm just gonna put the footage in here. Okay, let's go out here. Let's discuss. Shoes. Shoes would be a great idea, I think. Let's revisit the backyard. First of all, you can see this little patch. We sealed it. So this little patch right here is where we sealed. You can see a drastic difference. I just wasn't sure if I wanted to do everything with the sealant before we knew what it looked like. Clearly it was the right move. The rest of this, <laughs> I mean, obviously it just rained, but you can see how green everything is compared to over here. That's kind of crazy. So I think maybe this summer we can go back. Oh, the reason why I didn't want to is because some of the edges were like fuzzy and I wanted to see if they would go away over the winter. And they're so little fuzzy. Is it as good as it's gonna get? Okay. Wait, well, yeah, actually, I don't think I've been out here and like looked at the house since I got the curtains. Looks nice. Yeah, cute. Oh, you can see things are starting to sprout. Spring is springing. That's so exciting. Anyways, we've had a, the chicken wire on the grass for a solid, is it? It's not two years, right? It's feeling like this is the second year. So it's had enough time to root if it's ever gonna root where I feel like the chicken wire has got to go this year so I can maybe 
tan on the grass and not worry about getting poked. Yeah, we'll let that maybe as soon as we're back. It didn't root everywhere though, like that's not... Ooh, see, but this is gonna bring the raccoons back. Definitely over here, but it's over rooted there. over here. Everywhere else it looks like it's down. Because the reason why, in case you missed it, we put down the chicken wire was because the raccoons kept pulling it up and then eating everything underneath. It's still green though. That's super positive. Listen, the worst case is uh, if they start digging, we put it back. <laughs> okay. Chicken wire that's been removed. Okay. Right here. No. Where did it go? This piece is gone. Wait, wait, wait. No, it's not. It's in here. No, no, no. Yes. It just grew around it. Holy shit. Can't even pull this up. It's gonna pull up all the grass. <laughs> well, maybe it's just gonna be down there forever. Maybe it's gonna nope. be down forever. We're gonna lift what we can lift. Just like the edges. Yeah. We can just take some wire cutters and cut around the edges. Yeah, we'll lift what we can lift. <laughs> oh my god. I guess you have to I guess you have to get to it pretty quickly. Otherwise it's You know what? Firm. I think somebody did comment that. Oh my god, yeah, like there's no there's no get rid of it now. Okay. Somebody was like, just like what are you gonna do? You're gonna rip up all the grass when you eventually take it off? Well you'll look at the turf we're doing over in that place. You guys are doing turf? Yeah, in Brady's area. We're uh -huh. putting, uh, putting turf down. It's really nice actually, this turf. Really? I remember you saying the turf was not the move. Well this turf is beautiful turf. <laughs> Well, well, you know what? We've definitely given it its best effort. Okay, so the plan. So we need to find a place that sells those. And then we need to go to that place. We need to buy them. Yep, and then we have to get them delivered here. So what we're going to have to do is remove these rocks. We're going to have to dig down, make a little base. Can we also level this out a little bit more, do we think? Well, we can level it as much as, as high as the wall we want to put. And we don't want the wall to go too high because that starts changing how the wall needs to be built. Right. So in case you didn't watch the backyard videos last year, we were going to do a retaining wall down here and remove all these rocks because I think they just look dirty and then have this more as like a legit planter and then also have the retaining wall be kind of like a bench. It's like, you know, extra seating and then put in some really nice flowers that are not going to be super <laughs> hard to work with and not super high maintenance like my hydrangeas unless we put in like, you know, a watering system and then I wouldn't have to worry about it every single multiple times a day. Yeah, you could do that. Just want it to look cleaner. Obviously, well, this course. is dirty and ugly. Well, imagine so. a wall being this high. Yeah and then uh, there's a little bit of a slope and then you just make it nice and fill clean. it with nice flowers yeah you want to make it pretty uniform or whatever whatever you want to do so when we're back let's do that we'll visit a couple two three different places to make sure we can find and then we dig and then we order something like that finally and then it'll be maybe done back here can't wait for the vines to start growing back on the fence, I love that. Maybe we'll seal the rest of this. We'll do another power wash because the green is not cute. Yeah. Look at the difference. That's insane. The most encouraging about this whole thing here. Is that it didn't crack? Nothing cracked. I know you were really heat. concerned. Nothing cracked, nothing heat. And that'll even be more so for here because when it gets sealed completely, then there'll be no water to go underneath it. Right. That is spectacular. <laughs> So the wall on the other side will be like one more tier higher, probably. And then that'll finally look clean. Cause that's been like an eyesore this whole time. You just ignore that. So clean, so cute. And then, ooh, messy. Good plan. Sounds like a plan. So we have yet to actually go and look for the stone. We have to set up a day to do that like soon because summer is coming up fast and we want to, you know, plant some stuff out there before it gets too hot. And then, you know, they're going to die like what happened last year. So that's kind of the update there. Anyways, I'm gonna get myself ready in a little bit and maybe we'll try out some new makeup products actually. That sounds like a good idea. We're gonna do that. It's 4 p.m. now, had a pretty productive day, I would say, I've gotten a lot done. Now we're gonna shop the PR closet. <laughs> we're gonna pick out some stuff to try when we get ready. Starting with foundation, I want something light. I don't know if there's, a, actually, I think I might have one in my bathroom already that I wanna try, but I definitely wanna try one of these Armani, I think they're eyeshadows, I tint. I love a shimmery shade, so maybe we'll try this. They also sent me these lip glosses, so maybe we'll try this. I think they're plumping. Actually, maybe we'll try one of these. Maybe this one. Okay, we got these. Maybe we'll try one of these on the Glow Bronze Sticks. Yeah, okay, let's start with that. Okay, so we just watched the trailer for the movie we're seeing tonight. Oh, no. Anyways, it comes out in a couple of days, but it looks good. I'm really excited. And obviously, love Zendaya, so... Okay, we're gonna let the dry shampoo soak up all the oil. And we're gonna do makeup first. For foundation, okay, we're gonna use the Say Beauty, what is this? 
star glow i think he put this on before foundation so you want like a really glowy face so maybe we'll put a little bit of that on and then i also have this laura mercier tinted moisturizer i don't really like to dabble with new foundations that often just because if i find a good one like i i stick to it but i will use this i think yeah hopefully this is a shape match we'll just put on a little moisturizer okay i kind of feel like this might be too light Ooh, i don't think so no, nope. we'll just rub that in under my eyes. <laughs> That's fine. Ooh, okay. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. This is in 4.5 medium. Fairly certain I've never tried this, even though people love the Flawless Filter. That looks definitely like more of my color. I don't think I'm going to need to use the Star Glow thing with it. Might be, oh, my makeup, my brushes are downstairs. We're going to use this one for now. I can't tell if this is actually adding any coverage to my face. Okay, I feel like this is a good base, but I need to put something on top it's nice and glowy though okay so i've been using the rare beauty tinted moisturizer lately and we're just gonna throw a little bit of that on top i feel like that looks good like layered together the newest concealer i have is the nyx pro fix stick that i got at that event a few months ago i really like it actually i just put it in the corners of my eyes and i use my finger to blend it okay now ooh, i'm just gonna swipe it I can't tell if it's supposed to do anything like color wise. Maybe it's just supposed to be like a bronze glow. I mean, that would make sense. On the glow bronze, tinted moisture stick. Okay, I don't know. I'm not mad at the way that looks, but it's not truly bronzing. Anyways, then in that case, I'm gonna use the Patrick Ta bronze palette and I'm gonna apply that with the, this tart brush and I'm gonna spray it with the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I feel like wetting the brush makes it apply so much nicer. Just easier to blend. I will link all of this down below if you're curious about any of the products. I know the Sephora sale just ended. Let me know if there was anything that you got that you were obsessed with. I almost never partake in those sales. So I feel like it just, it makes you think that you need to buy things <laughs> just because there's a sale. But I try not to buy just because something is on sale. And I only buy if something looks legit good. See, I like this because it's both the powder and the cream in one. So it's nice for travel. Blush, I'm hesitant to use, but I'm gonna use it anyways. I'm gonna do the Rare Beauty in Happy. I think somebody commented to put it on the back of my hand and then apply from there with the brush. So we'll attempt that. I just feel like it's a lot. <laughs> Actually, you know what? That definitely made it apply a lot easier. I feel like I can build from here versus just like going in and it was aggressive. We'll just add a little more. I also think the last time I put it directly on the face, it just felt pretty splotchy and that's not what you're going for. I wanna try the Armani eye tint. It looks so pretty and super shimmery. I just don't know if I should put it like directly on. I'm going to. I don't really have a good uh, eyeshadow brush to blend this with, but I'm gonna attempt to use, okay, this is kind of a lot. Maybe I should use my finger. That's better. I think that's nice. I like that a lot. I have something similar for MAC, but it's really chunky and it's hard to blend. This is really nice. I don't know what you can see. I like it. I could see myself using this actually all the time. Just gonna do the huge. Okay, just remember I also have another mascara that I can try that I want to try. I got it last week. I actually got it um, two weeks ago. Same day that my dad was here talking about the backyard. I got a special delivery at my door. It was a man in a tux, like a model. And a tux and he came with one of those like silver dishes and inside was a mascara with my name on it and an invite to an event truly so cool i have to go find that mascara now because i need to try it i wanted to try it with you guys and then i just kept forgetting but it was definitely the coolest invite i've ever gotten i have the footage oh is that a, there's a dude in a suit oh this is so good oh he walked past unless that's not him there he is. Look, look. Oh my God. Oh, that's him. He's got the wrong address. Is he going to walk back? I see a man in a suit and I think that's for me. I wish I could show you, but I then I revealed where I Is it a suit or is it a tux? Oh, that's a tux. <laughs> my dad's here too. Oh no, he got some other door. Oh no. He's at the wrong. Yeah, he's at the wrong door. I texted him. Hello. Hi, oh. how are you? <laughs> and I totally passed your house. That's okay. It's, it's still better. It's still I wasn't better. sure, you know, I saw a man in a tux and I was like, yeah. I wonder if that was him. <laughs> <laughs> it must be, right? This is so cool. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're so welcome, Tara. <laughs> that is quite literally iconic. Wonderful looking man in a tux. We got a mask. What a way to deliver an invitation. Seriously, let's see what they're inviting me to. I just went downstairs to go get the mascara and then I got this package from Armani. And inside, of course, what do we have? We have the Luminous Silk Foundation, which I haven't used in years. And I would have loved to have tried this today. Oh, let me just see what the shape looks like. I have to see. 
Oh, maybe too light. So maybe it's okay. But then also, I got this glow enhancer and a concealer. Actually, I do have one of the concealers that I do use. I wonder if it's the same shade. It's not. That's good, because this one's too light. So... This one looks lighter. Wait a second. This is shade four. This is shade five. I don't know. We'll try another day. Anyways, this is the mascara we're gonna try. The Panorama Voluminous Mascara. And I'm obviously very serious about my mascaras, so let's see how this does. Honestly, kind of nice. Yeah, that's actually a really nice mascara. Okay, I'm gonna do my eyebrows with my usual eyebrow pencil. Actually, I guess it's technically new. I've been using the Urban Decay Brow blade and i use the pencil side lastly this is not new but the charlotte tilbury i think it's called airbrush flawless finish i'm just gonna put that under my eyes and under the cheekbone forehead it's a really great finishing powder i really like it i'm gonna add a little bit extra bronzer just the powder from the patrick ta over here and here and then i'm just gonna do my hair really fast and then i gotta get dressed and we gotta go Finished getting ready, but then we had to go. Feeding the cat, off to the movie theater. I'm gonna go see this movie, and then we're gonna go to spin. There should be food and drinks, so it should be a really fun night. Nice Wednesday. Oh, this is the loudest cat I've ever known. But it's gonna be a great night. We're leaving here in like five minutes. And I'm wearing the same shirt that I wore the other day. <laughs> We are back in my go-to comfort sweater. <laughs> Challengers was so good. I really didn't know what to expect, like at all. I kind of thought it was gonna be slightly more rom com -y based off the trailer. I didn't look too deep into it. I just, that's how it seemed to me, but it was actually so intense. It was so thrilling and captivating. Like it was very, it was intense. It was kind of dark. There was a lot going on in that movie, but it was so good. Like I really, really enjoyed it. And then the after party was at Spin, which I think I mentioned, which was super fun. Played some ping pong, had some yummy food, some good drinks, lots of people there that I knew. It was a good vibe, great night. Now it's 4.30 on Thursday and I gotta edit this vlog. Been a good week. Time is flying though. Like I can't believe it's the end of April. About to be May, time is flying. Things are crazy. I'm just figuring out my shit over here, so please bear with me. I feel like with being as unbalanced as I've been the last little while, I feel like I've been posting a lot of repetitive stuff and would love to create some more fun content. So if you have any ideas or things you'd wanna see that are a bit more structured for me, let me know in the comments. It would be very greatly appreciated. But I'm just gonna end this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed watching it and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.